All right, guys, we're in Galactic Battles. Uh, one of the key things we need to remember is that when we send uh, troops to the enemy fort, we do not want to send anything higher than troop than Rangers, right? Tier one, tier one troops. Um, and of the tier one troops, right? Because we do have multiple types of tier one troops. There we go. We have those that are tier one. We have those that are tier one, right? And we have these that are tier one. But Rangers are zero points, zero points. So if somebody were to show up right now, they say somebody like Bupter, right? Bupter is a strong guy, has a high comm, has good gear. He can very easily clear the Rangers, right? But if he sends masters and he say he's got high gear and stuff like that, and maybe he's got like a three or four thousand a, a three, let's say a four thousand um, leadership com, right? Let's say he has an S com. This right here is all points for him, especially with a B com sensei. A B com sensei, hell, an A com flare would take that sucker out. Okay, so. These all these troops, he could kill all these, you know, what thirty thousand rangers and get zero points. But he kills these, you know, what seven hundred or so, almost eight, yeah, seven hundred and something and a half uh, T four. He's got a bunch of points right here, just from hitting this right here. All right, so we do not want to do that. Another thing is, if you're sending to our fort or one of our strongholds, right? See this right here. All right, he's showing his hand whether this is his best calm or, or not doesn't matter he's showing his hand he's showing that okay he has a rock and if you've played this game before you know that rock um, his second skill skill can um, kind of bypass tear suppression right so I know that I have to be careful about what kind of gear or what kind of troops I send because he might make some more points if he by some chance kills let's say a T7 right um, so I'm gonna challenge him right with probably equal um, troops, or maybe I'll just send a whole bunch of uh, uh, rangers and kill a couple of his. He might kill all my rangers, but as long as I kill a couple of his and I keep coming at him and I keep coming at him, I keep take I keep knocking off this these troops and getting points. And even though he's winning every battle, right, with my against my rangers, he's not making any points, right. So that's why it's important not to not to defend your stronghold with your hand. Just leave it empty, leave it blank. Doesn't matter. Right here, 144. Why? There's no need to have all these troops here. None of these here. Now I know that this Medusa is 400 leadership. I know that this this flare is 530 leadership. So I know what your leadership is. I know what you can can and can't send. So I know that if I see this arc, Cerulius, right? If I see this arc, I know that he has a flare that's 530. All right, he has nothing there, but uh, I see um, the V guy, <clears throat> and I also know that he has a sensei it was 128, and this sensei is probably is probably his highest uh, calm. So if I know that this is highest calm, then I know I could take that arc out, and I'll just focus on that arc and just keep hitting that arc because even though even if if he's not garrison. If I go through his meat wall of rangers and I kill any other uh, troops, massacre any other troops, those are all points for me. Okay? So we have to learn how to fight these galactic battles. Think of think of these battles as kill event. During kill event, if somebody hits you and all they hit is rangers, they make no points. But if your rangers kills, let's say, 10 of their lurkers, right? You just might make whatever, you know, those, those lurkers... Are worth in points okay so just keep that in mind all right right now we seem to be we're doing well the other team didn't show up so this I guess is a good practice run for us because we get to understand um, about this point system right so here we have our, our points this is the points that we're making right um, for each one of these events as our arcs are in here and the longer they are in here we're making about a thousand I think it is points per bridge level so if you're a uh, bridge 15 15 times a, a thousand is what you're making every 10 minutes or so or something like that i have to read up again and, and see how that adds up um i'm trying to see if it has any 
information. If you can see here, it's got some information here, right? Rules of engagement, battle lasts 12 hours, uh, destroy an enemy stronghold, you get a million points, you gain one point every time you decrease one power of enemy. So for example, a lot of your power is based on troop power. So as, as I cure your troops or massacre your troops, right? I'm making one point for every power value that adds, right? Troops, uh, Rangers, Tier 1, do not add power. Jetty, Tier 1 Walkers, do add power to your to your hull, to your arc. Uh, so do um, Hummingbirds, right? T1 Air. Uh, you receive points every 10 minutes in the battlefield. The higher level your arc is, the more points you get. And I guess once you, you make 21, it's 1,000 times 21 plus 400, I believe it is. All right? So here it is. Here are the rules. By all means, go ahead and, and look them up. Read it. If you have any questions, by all means, please um, ask. Um, I will share anything and everything that I know. No hidden agenda here. Just trying to have fun. And obviously, I want my team to win. Okay? So, oh, yeah. Well, so you know, um, sometimes when you leave, the uh, gout chat stops working. It happens. We need to be able to use something else, whether it's line or anything like that. We need to be able to use something else to communicate, okay? Um, right now, we have about... Come on. 13 minutes left. 13 minutes left, and we win, all right? So let's keep it up, and hopefully nobody shows up and cleans it out, because technically, if somebody shows up last minute, and we don't destroy that main fort, they can come in... You know, especially if they're stronger. As I say, there's five eight level 18s in there with um, S comms and who knows, uh, 10,000 leadership comms. They can very easily clean us out, take our strongholds, straight take our forts, and because they have higher bridge, they'll be accumulating you know more per 10 minutes than we do. So this is a 12 hour 12 hour battle. Okay, so keep that in mind. All right. Uh, nine hours left as you can see nine hours and 35 minutes left we're doing okay so far so like i said if you have any questions please ask all right that's all i got